Welcome to the Epic Success Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Shannon Irvin. All right, coaches, I'm going to dive deep today into why so many coaches struggle to get clients and what you can do about it. How important it is that you don't coach to treat symptoms, you coach to change at the source. And yes, I am talking about the brain. I am talking about neuro coaching versus temporary shifting coaching, which is rampant across the internet. And I know you don't want to be that coach. I know you want to be the coach that actually creates transformations for your clients, that creates those raving fans that literally sell your program for you because their life has shifted and changed so much. And so that's what we're diving into today, how to create those source-based transformations so you create raving fans of your coaching business. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm going to jump into a series over the next few weeks all around the coaching industry and how it is upside down right now and messy and what's getting caught in the fray of that mess are a lot of really well-meaning people that are becoming coaches the wrong way. I mean, the wrong way, like using temporary shift-based methodologies that make people feel good on a call. But in the end of the day, when they go try to go it alone and they try to get the transformation without the hype, without the language, without all that energetic, then they find themselves coming up short and then they feel like a failure even more, almost causing more harm than good. And I know as a coach, that is not what you want. And so it's important today to talk about the difference between symptom-based and source-based coaching. Now, source-based coaching is what we do in the neuro coaching certification. We teach that to coaches as well as that's how we coach in the Epic Success program. It is a brain-based methodology to not just temporarily use willpower or language patterns to shift somebody in the moment, which we know from neuroscience really isn't changing anything in the brain. It's not changing the neural networks that are creating the patterns that are getting repeated. And so without that, you can get somebody in the moment to feel amazing, right? But willpower and language shifts, and we'll talk about how important language is to source-based shifting, but it's not the way you think. So getting somebody to agree to your way of thinking as a coach is getting them to agree with you in the moment, but it doesn't change the networks in their brain. Here's what I need you to know. You, your client, everyone has automations running in their brain. These are actual neural networks that were built sometimes when they were you were young, sometimes when you're a young adult that kept you safe and familiar back then, but actually works against you now. Some things work for you. Some automations are amazing. Uh, An example of an automation that's amazing is if you grew up in a family that loved being out in front of people and weren't afraid of speaking to people, then you might have that personality type where you're not afraid to be on a stage or you're not afraid to go live. That's the example of a good automation. But here's the key. You, your clients, they all have automations around what money is and isn't what success means or doesn't mean about you, what failure means about you and what it doesn't, what your worth is attached to, and how are you enough in the world. And these automations, you didn't choose, they, you, neither did your client, they were automations based on the environment that you grew up in. And I always say to my clients, whether you had the most amazing childhood in the world or the worst childhood that you would never want anybody to have, or somewhere in between, your family of origin, your school of origin, all those, they were doing the best they could based on their automations, right? And what you automate, you create in your brain. And when you create it in your brain, the networks get built in the brain, and it's those networks that drive 90% of your daily decisions, and therefore your actions, and therefore the results that you get. And these automations are running because your brain has this beautiful system that wants to conserve energy. We think about 60,000 thoughts an hour. 
lots of glucose needing, lots of energy needed to do that. So anytime there's a repetition of something, at least about 67 times, your subconscious gets alerted, that system takes over the automation system and it actually automates it in the subconscious part of the brain, the memory parts of the brain, the neurolimbic part of the brain. And we know hands down from neuroscience now that 90% of our decisions are being made from that place, not our thinking brain. So we think our prefrontal cortex is making all these decisions, but 90% of the time for you and for your client, those decisions are being made based on an automated story that you didn't even choose necessarily if you haven't gone in and done any neuro coaching work of your own. So you can see the, the inherent problem in the coaching industry where you're getting on a coaching call and you're seeing well-meaning coaches get on there and tell people how to think differently and reframing and doing these things. But yet that client gets off that call and still has those automations running 90% of their day. So we really got to get to the source and the source is the brain. It's the automations. It's getting in and flipping that switch on to choose the automations that you want to keep and to neutralize and erase those that don't serve you anymore. And I think the biggest place to really dive deep into this is just to understand that whether you realize it or not, those stories are running and get I always say it's transformed people, transform people, right? And we, in the neuro coaching certification, we dive deep on, of course, your, first your transformation and then giving you the tools, the methods, the process of how to learn that source-based transformation, how to help your client learn that and help them get to that real breakthrough. You know, the one that everything shifts because of, you know, the, the transformation. And you've seen it in some people when they really get it and repeat it enough that the new network gets automated, then everything shifts. Why? Because the automation that's in control of 90% of their day now believes something different. That the old story, the old automation that used to run on autopilot gets disrupted, then it gets neutralized, then it gets erased, like literally pruned apart. So it no longer can fire 90% of the time. And that new network that we call it the success switch that gets flipped on. And you'll hear clients say things like, I'm just different now. Now, I think in our next podcast that follows this, we'll dive deep into how does the brain wire all this stuff? It's called Stebdar in our neuro coaching model. We'll talk about it, break it down in detail. So make sure you're here next week for that episode. But for right now, I just really encourage you as a coach, whether you're thinking about becoming a coach or you've been coaching for a little while and you're frustrated with that feeling, that insecure feeling of, I'm not sure that I can get the breakthroughs for my clients because you probably have had very inconsistent breakthroughs. Maybe someone has a little micro win, but then they fall back, right? And it, they were doing great. And then all of a sudden they're not doing great again. That's evidence of those neural networks, those automations taking back over because willpower and reframing, unless you have it in repetition, is just using a neurochemical willpower, which runs out, which runs out. And that's symptom-based. They're taking a symptom. They're trying to hype you up on thinking differently on that symptom, maybe doing a little NLP shifting in the language to get you to think, yeah, that's not right. This is right. Now, there's nothing wrong with NLP. There's nothing wrong with language shifts. In fact, when you actually plug them in in the right order in the neuro coaching model, when you're coaching your clients, then they become powerful. But you don't do it to get them to the breakthrough. And the breakthrough that, well, you can, but it's symptom-based. And so it's temporary. It, it doesn't last. Now, every once in a while, you'll get these unicorns that actually do some accidental source-based shifting after the fact. And those are the go-getters. Those are the people that are like, I'm going to take that idea that you told me, coach, and I'm going to repeat it so much and I'll believe it. I'll keep repeating it even though I don't believe it. And guess what's happening? They're building that neural network in their brain. But that's kind of the hard way to go about it. Doing it source space is so step-by-step -step and so simple because my brain, your brain, the way our brains wire success, wire failure, wire money stories, wire success stories, wire millionaire stories is the exact same way. 
So like I said, we'll dive deeper into that next week on the podcast. So come back for that. But really, I want to shake. I'm hoping this episode is like as a coach, whether you're thinking about it or you've been coaching for a year or you've been coaching for 10 years. I hope this kind of rattles you a little bit in the sense of I, I want to know the right way to coach. Like I want to not get temporary shifts. And I think that's what started for me with was I was tired of the temporary shifts in me. I'm just the, I would say, I'm just was desperate enough to go get a PhD to learn how the brain was wired success and failure because I really, really was tired of the, I'm, I'm winning, I'm losing, I'm winning, I'm losing. And, and all of that roller coaster ride that is the entrepreneur life, that it doesn't have to be that way. Yes, you'll have moments that you don't know what you're doing. It feels different. But as a coach, we want to get people that that permanent transformation, right? That transformation where they're on their social media and they're saying, oh my gosh, I worked with my coach. She had me do this neuro coaching and I was able to see the thing that was blocking me, take my foot off the brake and everything changed. You know, when we, I love it because when we teach coaches how, and certified coaches on this methodology, we're it. Once they learn it for themselves, transform people, transform people, and then they start really using it with their clients, they're really doing such an act of service because they're teaching their clients how to operate their mind. They're teaching their clients how to operate their brain's operating system, how the brain wires anything for success, failure. The difference is in how that gets wired. And nothing is more satisfying as a coach than to hear someone say what one of my clients, Julia, said not too long ago. She said, you know, I remember back when I thought money was hard to make, that sales was difficult, that I just wasn't good enough at it. I remember thinking that that I had to chase money. I remember having those thoughts. But when I hear somebody speak those things now, it's almost, she said, it's almost like an out-of-body experience because I know that was my story, but that is so not a part of my identity and who I am now. It almost feels like a different person. And that's the power that's available to you to transform your brain so that you get to be the one who chooses the thoughts that create the automations in your mind to know which thoughts you are going to be okay with and which thoughts you're going to neutralize and erase so that you get to that success that you want and so that you get your clients to those transformations that they want. And then those clients, because of that, create this almost like, um, how do I say this? It's, it's like when they get that transformation and then they start trusting themselves and then they see the success and then the success grows they can't wait to tell people that you as a coach were that secret sauce that helped them learn how to do all that, right? They feel empowered. And, and I always have somebody that say, oh my gosh, like if you get somebody that transformation, maybe, don't they just go away? I can tell you hands down and my certified master neuro coaches will tell you the same thing. When someone gets a source-based transformation like that, they know they're going to keep leveling up and leveling up and leveling up and they will not let go of the coach that taught them how to manage their mind and break through those barriers. I still have one-on-one clients that I offered that like, I just said, it's okay. Like you're doing good. You have the process. You don't need me. And they're like, no, no, no. I need to have you in my corner because when I get to someplace I haven't been, something comes up, I want to be able to go through this with you so I can make sure I don't miss that blind spot. That's the power of the neuro coaching model and really getting source-based transformation. It creates raving fans that just go out and sell your programs for you. And I say this and people, when they are just getting started saying, that'd be great, but I don't know. But when you start to see that in action, first in yourself, and then you believe in it so much that you start to really uh, learn it, get certified in it, and really coach your clients in it, and then they start getting those breakthroughs, it's that ripple in the pond effect where you wake up so stoked because it's not a question of can you get help your clients? It's not a question of will this work? It's a question of I just have to follow the steps with them, help them see the blind spots that they're not seeing 
show them how to get to the things in their brain, how to neutralize and erase them, how to create that success switch and flip it on. And they get to go and then brag on you and bring more and more clients like them to you. To me, it's the best because we can focus on serving deeply with our clients, getting that transformation. And when we go to sell, we know that the transformation is a game changer and that changes everything when you go to offer your programs and services out to the world. It gives you a confidence and just a knowing that you are doing it in a way that is the fastest, most permanent source-based transformation. And that brings with it a swagger and a confidence that you know you can really, really, really deeply serve. So that's what I want to talk about today. That symptom versus source-based transformation. I want you to move away from, I thought I call it throwing spaghetti at the wall coaching, hoping it sticks, right? To that confidence that you know, no matter without a shadow of a doubt, because the brain is wired a very specific way that once you have the tools of the neuro coaching, you can get in there, you can help them neutralize and erase anything that's not serving them, help them build a network that will get them to that end result faster and easier than anything else they've ever tried and create raving fans in the process. So we are doing some info sessions. We're opening the doors for the neuro coaching certification. Again, you're going to want to jump on the link and apply, listen to the info session and apply. We're doing some live info, info sessions. And if this is uh, after that, then the, those recordings will be there for you to listen to, understand it deeper, and then would love to see you apply and really start to get those source-based transformations. Until then, I will see you next week. Next week, we're going to dive into what is that way that the brain wires success and failure and money stories and all of that. We affectionately call it Stubdar in the neuro coaching model. And we're going to break that down next week in the Epic Success Podcast. All right, coaches, I'll see you out there. I can't wait to see you in the certification. Until then, see you next week on the Epic Success Podcast. Bye for now.